Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's recipe is a dessert cup. It's uh, it's again another easy, quick, um, simple recipe, and uh, this one is uh, again one of my favorite types of desserts. It's very cloudy, very airy, very light, very fluffy, and there is a little bit of the crunch from uh, almond. So um, it's very easy, very simple. I'll show you guys. So to make this dessert, we are going to need four egg whites. Uh, half a kilogram of uh, white cheese or fromage blanc we're using this brand from Carrefour and uh, for every pot of 125 grams you're going to use one egg one egg white sorry 50 to 60 grams of sugar here we have a hundred grams of almonds that we've roasted skin on and then we've just uh, broke it uh, we broke it a little bit uh, two tablespoons of honey almond extract and a pinch of so salt. our first step is very obvious we're just going to uh make the meringue and i think i've done it multiple times so it's just uh egg white and salt and you're going to whisk that until it turns uh cloudy or like until there is like it foams up and then you add sugar like uh slowly over like maybe three times So as you can see, it has formed stiff peaks. So now we're just going to set that aside and move on to our next. So in another bowl, you're going to take your white cheese. We're going to also add in our honey. Now, lastly, we're going to add in our almond extract. You can also add in vanilla, but because we're using almonds, so it seems very obvious that we'll be using uh, almond extracts as well. Now we're just going to mix that really well until everything is well incorporated together and you don't like see traces of honey anymore. So now we're also going to add in our almond, but for our almond, we're using only half in the dessert mixture because we're going to use the other half like later on as decoration or garnishing. And the reason we kept some of these pieces this way and like we didn't break it into a fine powder is just like to add in some texture. We're just going to mix that. So after incorporating our almonds into the cheese mixture, we're going to uh, start adding in our meringue. And we're going to add it slowly and just fold it gently so that our meringue doesn't fall or break. So after we've folded all of our egg white and incorporated everything together, we're going to just put it into a piping bag and we're going to pour it into our cups. So after we've fi uh, filled our piping bag, we're just going to cut off the tip. And now we'll just start to gently pipe. So um, after you piped in uh, your mixture, you just smoothen it out with uh, a spoon and you just jiggle it around to get rid of any air bubbles. And uh, this, uh, our mixture gave us about four um, cups of this size. And um, also the reason we've used a piping bag was just to like make the transition clean because otherwise if we just poured it like using a spoon, it might have been a little bit messy. Now we just take the rest of our almonds and we drizzle it over our dessert cups and uh, and then we just cover it and let it chill in the fridge for 3-4 hours. So after about 3-4 to, three to four hours uh, in the fridge, this is what it looks like. As you can see, it looks very like it held its shape well. It looks very like moussey, I guess, the texture of a mousse and uh, very soft and I'm pretty sure very creamy as well. So let's try a little bit. It's extremely soft and light and airy and fluffy and uh, I feel like you all know how I feel about like these kind of desserts. And what I like most about this is that it's not too sweet and um, you can see like the the almonds i feel like is in layers because it's incorporated into our uh, cheese mixture 
but then it's also like on top so you get like double almond layer and it adds more texture which uh, is always welcomed in these kind of desserts so this concludes today's video again if you like this kind of content please like share subscribe and comment down below and follow us on our instagram and facebook page so you guys can support me to make more content thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye